Hello everyone. Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my channel. I'm Azlina Abdul. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make this um, teardrop swirl quilling flower. Okay, let's get started. The um, for this flower, it's actually just like how I made the um, triangle twist flower. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I do hope you would check it out at my quilling playlist. I'm using the uh, same um, quilling paper, just like the ones I used for uh, to make the uh, triangle twist flower. The width is five m five millimeters, and the length is two hundred and ninety seven millimeters. If you want to know the measurements in inches you can check out the uh, um, triangle twist uh, quilling video and you'll get the answers there uh, so just join the three quilling strips together like this okay and then we'll do this to the paper before I start combing it with the um, flea comb here you can get this uh, you can get a flea comb at the uh, pet store it doesn't have to be exactly like this as long as the uh, pins are close very close together like this then you can use it to make this flower Flea combs uh, comes in various designs, so as long as the pins are like this, it's fine. But I like this one because it's cute. It's very small and cute and easy for me to hold as well. So to start, it's actually the same like uh, how I made the um, triangle twist flower. So combing it takes quite some time to do because the length of the paper is quite long so this may take a while I'll try to do this as fast as I could Once I've finished uh, combing the paper, then I'll start pinching it. It's a bit different from how I make the um, triangle twist, but I think this one is a lot easier. Okay, we have reached the end. So put some glue. I'm using white glue. Oops, coming out. Okay. Take it out and give it a good pinch. And I usually cut this part out. So, okay, now I'm going to 
press like that. Make sure this yellow uh, paper here stays exactly in the center. Okay, and then you hold with your fingers the center at the center, and then pull. and then let go so that's how you get that swirl you can uh, twist it some more like that easy isn't it? <laughs> so now you put some glue um, hold on a minute I'll make sure the same. Okay, it's the same. Alright, put some glue. Because I don't want the design to move. I want it to stay exactly like this. So, put quite a generous amount of glue there. Once you have uh, applied it evenly, leave it to, to dry. I've made a few in advance so that I can show you how I join all the petals together. Okay. It's actually the bottom part of the uh, mineral bottle. So, so this is the part where you glue, I glued it, I'm not sure what you can see, and this is the part that's there's no glue, so you just join them together, and I think it's better to do like this, join it together here first, then only you put it on the plastic Thing. It's easier, you know, this way. Once you have joined them together like that, now I would I would use my razor blade here to lift it up and put it in on the plastic mold. Press it. I'm using this pink paper, this uh, pattern. Press it down so that it stays the shape like 3D shape here. See, I can actually turn it like that so it's not flat. And wait it 
for it to dry completely before you lift it up. Then you can embellish it with some uh, plastic rhinestones. And that's how you do it. Easy, isn't it? So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, and do give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet again next time. Bye.